This one's for you, wherever you are. Hi, it's Laura T at Dream Deals 123 on eBay. I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. I like the same. And I like cats. And I was thinking, <laughs> this is take two. I'm weird today. I'm very in a very weird mood. Um, <laughs> I like singing. I like cats. I was thinking of having a shorts where I'm singing songs to my cats. I do that, you know, I, I sing to them quite often. I change words and everything. Anyways, it would be a whole different thing. Nothing to do with eBay. I made, what did I make? Did I even do this? Oh, I am not prepared, am I? Okay, I made, I made, $47 gross, sorry, and $28 net. Let's break it down and see what I sold. I better put that here. Uh, I got 47, 28, 47, 28. I'll add this in my head. Right now. Okay. Welcome new people. I was looking, I got a lot of views on a recent uh, video. About, and I think that the thing that brought people in was why are sales so slow? I was talking more about my own personal um, experience of why I was thinking mine where I'm basically because I'm downsizing and uh, getting rid of everything. God, I'm just bleh today. Um, there's Chelsea up there barking right on cue when I'm trying to talk. <laughs> I know you guys don't mind. I hope. Uh, can be kind of annoying. Um, Okay, Laura, what were you talking about? My sales are slow because I've basically sold off all my good stuff and I haven't brought, I haven't sourced for three months. So everything good that I have is, is pretty much sold and everything else is on uh, big clearance sales. So my prices are low and I'm taking offers because these are things that have just been sitting and sitting for a long time. But I did go out thrifting yesterday and I'm trying to find things that have a very good sell-through rate. I'm trying, I was saying 100%, but it's hard. It's hard to even figure out what is the true sell-through rate. You've got to look at sizes and a small can be so different than an extra large. It's time consuming. Um, you know, you watch videos about people saying, I'm going to list in 30 seconds or something. That can be done, but I think it has to be with something that they really know everything about. I mean, yeah. Take the, but doing the research is where the time really goes for me. Um, and, you know, I'll do a cursory search in the thrift store and I'll think something's good. And then I get it home and I do a real deep dive on it. And I'm like, well, this isn't that great after all. So it's frustrating. And I'm trying to, um, you know, get better at that and, and everything. So today, after I talk about what sold, I'm going to just do a little of that, looking up, trying to figure out the sell through, see if I did make good purchases here yesterday. Um, I'm so excited to get out thrifting. I just wanted to buy stuff and they were, I think they were all pretty good stuff, but the, maybe we need to adjust what is a good sell through rate. Maybe 50% is a good sell through rate. Maybe we need to look at how many are sold. If, if it's one that's sold and one listed, that's a hundred percent. But is that something better than um, a thousand listed and 500 sold because with 500 people buying or did the was there only one listed and one sold because it's rare I mean you or is it just that that was a one-off thing that one person listed and one person wanted like how do you find it how do you kind of get to the bottom of it it's a mystery it's like detective work okay so I sold these little earrings um, on mouse I'm not oh come on I'm just going getting myself more where I don't want to go sold a pair of vintage earrings they're Kramer signed clip on I don't know what the stones are maybe Jade, I just put gold tone, green stone, faux pearl, clip-on earrings estate. I'm not sure if that's a faux pearl or not. It could be real. Um, 
sold for nine dollars and seven dollars shipping no ten dollars and six dollars shipping, something like that and i got them for free and i made my new subscribers are probably like this lady's goofy i am uh, i'll admit it i made nine dollars on those okay and then this i had a lot of a lot of interest but just took a while to sell it's called Vintage 70s Misty Light Blue Lace Flowy Robe and Nightgown Set. Peñor, 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 how do you say that? Peñor, 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 Medium. Now it's a set. Yeah, I guess they're, it's, they complement each other, the style. So um, one looks a little more faded than the other, doesn't it? Anyways, $9, or $25 and $6 shipping. So that was a good, pretty good sale. I made, paid four for this and made 19. They paid 31. So I made a total of 47 gross and 28 net. 33,339 gross this year. And 16,626 net. All right. Let's look at a few things here. Oh man, I just put this negligee, practically stuck it in my cup of coffee. Good going. I don't think I did. <laughs> oh man. I think I'll have a cup of, a sip of that coffee. Hmm. One of my favorite mugs. I used to live next door to Greenbridge Pottery. Becky Moore Bear. She was a very great potter. And uh, just makes a good mug. She's online. Greenbridge Pottery. A good mug. These ceramic mugs can go, for, I mean, new. They go for a lot of money. She would sell these for like $28, bucks, $32 in her, in her studio. All right. So this is a J. Jill Love Linen Large, very pretty um, color, lilac, lavender. So this should be pretty easy now. This one, I don't think I did the sell. I don't think I looked it up in the store because I know I've sold this before. J. Jill Love Linen Blouse. Lavender. And I'm going to put purple because it'd probably be, I mean, it is purple. All right. Oh, I better put long sleeve. And I put the size in there too because I think a lot of these, there are probably a lot of these. Well, let's see. 309 and of course uh, oh one thing I'm doing now remember yesterday I was saying all these different colors come up I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna put in some words in the advanced to not show like I'm looking here there's floral ones in there there's brown I'm just putting in a bunch of colors, blue, red, white. Now let's see. Yeah, now four purple ones have come up. And one of them looks exactly like mine. The other ones look a little different. That one's selling for $16 and $5 shipping, okay? That's how many are listed and it is a pre-owned they're all pre-owned. So sold, none. <laughs> so now what? Now that now now I think okay, I paid about three fifty for this. It's Love Linen. It's J. Jill. It should sell. So now I'm thinking, I may return some of these. Um, let me, I don't know. 
let me do something else. Let me not do that advanced. See, this is it. It takes, let me not do a size and see what happens. Okay, and then it comes 112 up, uh, 95, you know, but they're, it says purple in my search, but these are all different colors. 95 sold, including, including the exact one that I was looking for. It sold for $16.99 and they took a best offer. No, 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 $16.99 and $6.65. It's the exact same shirt. Why didn't it come up before? It's got purple in it. J. Jill. Oh, it doesn't have love linen in it, maybe. It's just love linen, right? All right. This is what I mean. It's like, okay. And there's 375 listed. But again, they're all different colors. All right, let me put linen. Take linen out. I mean, take love out. And then there's 72 listed. So there's 372 with love linen and 72 with just linen. There should be more. It should be the other way. The world doesn't make any sense. <laughs> eBay doesn't make any sense. 72 listed and 172 sold. What's happening? What's happening here? Oh, okay. Used a hundred. Okay. What? Where is this? My computer? Okay. Let me try something here. All right. J. Jill linen blouse, purple, long sleeve. 67 listed. Used. And 144 sold. Well, in the beginning, I added, I had five listed and zero sold. Where did the 140? Okay. I know that was more, that was large, but. Okay, let me. I'm going to do a few. White, brown, floral, and search for that. Taking out some words. Okay, now there's nine sold. I'm going to put large in there because where's that large? That, that sold. It's not there anymore. This is, okay. Uh, this is where <laughs> experience kind of comes in too, because I know I've sold Love Linen before. I know it sells very well. Um, so sometimes you just gotta pick it up. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna list it. I'm gonna list it for about 15 bucks and $6 shipping. I paid 350, but you know, if I was selling remotes, sell through would be very easy, okay? Or if I was selling, you know, gadgets or things like that, or even, you know, China or something like that. Clothing is hard because there's so many different words and ways you can say, say, say it. Yeah, here's one. J. Jill Love Linen Size Large Lilac Purple Long Tunic Shirt Blouse, $29.95 and $8 shipping. And I'm just gonna see if it's exactly the same one. Yeah, it looks like exactly the same one. And maybe. So, you know, this has been what, 10 minutes? Um, and we've done one and I haven't even taken pictures or anything, so. All right, now this one, I didn't look this one up either, I don't think. 
Now, maybe I did Urban, it's called Urban Romantics. This I picked up on style. I just thought this is nice, you know, with a pair of jeans and a cowboy hat and cowboy boots, maybe a denim jacket or something like that. Um, some turquoise. I think it would be very, very cute. And this I paid $3.50 for. And this kind of embroidered cutout is quite popular. So let's see if I can figure out, well, how would I price this? So this is, I'd never heard of them before. Urban Romantics, 100% cotton. I hope I don't run out of storage. We're at 15 minutes. Urban Romantics top. Urban Romantics top, 778, eh, you know, $8, $5 shipping, 15, four, $5 shipping. So let's just see as a brand, uh, well, let's put in a few more things. Let's put white cotton, Urban Romantics white cotton top. Peplum, that's another thing that this is, is right? Peplum, I think. Well, it's partial peplum, where it's got that kind of thing there. There's one that looks peplum. I don't know if I'll put... Maybe I should. All right, so I'm just going to narrow it down there. Use 335. Size, large. Let's do that, too. Two hundred and seventy-eight Urban Romantics top white cotton large, but you know there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's white, there's striped, there's black. Um, <clears throat> so let's go to sold. I feel like it's not going to be that great. Seven. <laughs> Again, the style. Okay, so let's see now. Maybe we put in. No, 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 no. What did I do? Cancel. We take out the brand and we put in cut out white cotton that's like a three-quarter sleeve people like the three-quarter sleeve embroidered okay so I'm gonna put all this four sold nine listed okay and this is a little more i think eyelid that's the shirt that's that's what i'm looking for eyelid not cut out that's the word okay 51 listed size large because that's what i think somebody would be looking for i think they would be looking for this style and this is uh, 33 listed. Six sold. Uh, it's cute. I like it. Okay, 350, so. I think I'll list it. You know, just, I feel like this is a a popular look now. I always see it when I look at the, um, you know, like I look at F Free People's newsletters and Huckberry, which is mostly men's, but um, anthropology, and they're always pairing this with something, kind of thing. All right, we've gone 20 minutes. Um, I think that's about all I can afford to do with my storage. So, again, I had I put up my last video, like, am I doing this wrong? Is this how you do it? But I, you know, because I think if you're not real thorough, can get you into trouble. Because, um, you know, like at the thrift store, it looks like it's pretty good. And then you get home and it's like, what? 
So you just gotta sometimes call on your instincts. Know the styles, know what's selling for you. Um, like for me, I can't, I, I just don't do very well with jeans and I don't do good very well with, with uh, jewelry actually is very, very slow for me. So I think that might be the case for everybody. All right, I will see you in the next one.